Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing uh, finally uh, the video on actually activating the Russian copy of Windows XP that I recently purchased online and did a couple of videos on. If you guys haven't seen those two previous videos, I would highly recommend that you go and check them out up in the cards. Uh, it'll be linked up at the top right of your screen right now. I did both the unboxing video and the actual installation of it on this laptop here in the US. But essentially what this is, is a very unique copy of Windows XP Starter Edition that was only released in Russia. This was not available anywhere else. And uh, I got a lot of comments on that previous video when I mentioned towards the end that I was gonna possibly be doing the activation video. A lot of you guys said, let's see it. Let's see if you can activate this thing um, over in the United States, you know, even though this was a copy specifically aimed at the Russian market. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, and we're basically just going to jump right into it. So uh, I do still have the, the uh, you know, like Russian language as the you know default language on the system, so everything is still in, in uh, Russian. Now, I did actually attempt to, you know, before, because I'm probably gonna get a lot of comments about this, I did attempt to change the language over to English. Um, and uh, basically from the options I was able to change in the control panel, nothing as you can see here on the screen actually changed. It mainly changed things like the keyboard input and, and kind of what uh, you know layout that it was actually going to use and, and, and how things like dates uh, time and you know numbers would be uh, displayed. Now I am aware that there is a language pack obviously that you can get to actually switch this thing over to English but I just figured for this video we would kind of add a little bit of a challenge and actually keep it in Russian and you know see if I can actually still successfully activate this. So we're just going to open up the activation wizard. It's obviously going to open up in you know Russian here as you would expect it to and this computer is not connected to the internet at the moment um, but I don't even really think the XP uh, activation servers like over the internet are up anymore. I think you have to go through the phone process and that's what we're going to do. So I know that the second option right here is activate by phone. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I was actually able to successfully activate a Windows XP era product, specifically Microsoft Plus Digital Media Edition over the phone in this video. You guys might want to go ahead and actually check that out. So I'm hoping that we'll still be able to do that with Windows XP. So it asks you to select your um, country here. All right, so I found uh, Russia in the list here. So these right here are the numbers you would have to call um, if you were in Russia and want to activate this thing. Now, one of the things that I received a few comments about and actually got an email from one of you guys out there, uh, you know, kind of being a little skeptical on if this was actually going to work here in the US, but it is giving us the option to actually choose what country that we're in. So in theory, we should be able to choose United States and then call the number and actually try to activate it. But we're gonna see if that actually works. First off though, I need to get up Google Translate again and actually find the US in this list here. And there it is right here. Here is uh, the USA option. So we've got a toll-free 888 number. So what I'm gonna do is pull up my phone here. And uh, since this isn't a screencast, I actually am unable to kind of do the call through uh, Google Voice and have it kind of tied directly into the video. So we're gonna have to go old school and just have me hold up my phone to the microphone and actually capture everything. So we're going to dial 888-571-2048. Uh, so we'll press call here and uh, turn on speakerphone and see if this actually works. Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation Center. Para continuar en español, au prima dos, pour continuer en français, appuyez sur le 3. All right, very similar to the uh, plus activation. Can help us improve the quality of our products, services, and training. This call may be recorded or monitored, and information collected on this call may be accessed by Microsoft affiliates, subsidiaries, and service providers internationally. Okay. If you can send to recording or monitoring of this call, press 1. Or to continue without recording or monitoring, press 2. We're going to not you. continue not with uh, monitoring. <laughs> For security purposes, please enter the following number on your phone's touchtone pad. Three, three, three. Okay, triple threes. Thank you. Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation. Now, which kind of product would you like to activate? Please say Windows, Office, Windows. Or say Okay, Windows. Are you at your computer with the activation screen open? Yes. Please say yes. Yes. We've like gone silent here. 
Okay, now take a look at your screen. I'll ask you to tell me the installation ID. The installation ID is a long number broken into several groups. I'll ask you for one group at a time. Please say or enter the digits in group one. Great, group two. Okay, now group three. Start. What? Let's try once more. What the, what just happened? She like got cut off there. Just you want me to restart the whole thing? There still didn't seem to be a valid group of digits. I can transfer you to a representative, but uh, you'll have to start. Nine three five one. What? We are unable to complete the activation of your software with the information provided. Support for Windows XP is no longer available. For more information about XP and of support, please visit support.microsoft.com/windowsxp. Oh, I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's figured out that it's an XP um, key, which is interesting because you know Plus for uh, or Plus Digital Media Edition is probably out of support as well. I mean, it wasn't released that long after XP came out. You would think it wouldn't be supported anymore. That was still able to be activated over the phone. Um, I wonder if uh, hmm. Well, I'm just gonna try to call them back because that was it, it. Basically, got to this second group here, nine four or no no uh, this one here, this this third group, nine seven nine three five one. Maybe if I maybe if I try to like speak it to them, maybe I was you know going too slow because the I, I was trying to kind of move like over here away from the microphone to actually read the screen and then come back. So maybe I if, maybe if I just try to actually speak it to them, um, or maybe we'll have to actually be transferred to a live uh, representative. Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation Center. Para bienvenido al centro de activación de productos de Microsoft. Oh, whoops, I accidentally <laughs> I accidentally pressed. Para continuar en español, oprima 2. Pour continuer en français, appuyez sur le 3. To help us improve the quality of our products, services, and training, this call may be recorded or monitored. And information collected on this call may be accessed by Microsoft affiliates, subsidiaries. Okay, I'm like pressing two, and it's not. It's still reading this whole thing to me. No, I don't want to consent to recording. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks. For security purposes, please enter the following number on your phone's touchtone pad. Eight, three, two. Thank you. Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation. Now, which kind of product would you like to activate? Please say Windows, Office, or say it's something else. Windows. Okay, Windows. Are you at your computer with the activation screen open? Yes. Please say. To reduce your effort, we can activate your product using your smartphone's display instead of our audio self-help system. To get started, I'll need to send a text message to your smartphone. Carrier text and data rates may apply. First, are you calling from a smartphone? Yes. Maybe we'll just try to do it this way. Okay, so I got the message here. We're going to open it up. So it's basically asking me how many digits are in the first block, which there's six of them. But you can see right there it says help activating Windows 10. So I wonder if this is kind of primarily used for Windows 10. Um, okay, so we're just going to enter in these blocks one by one. You see it just kind of has the uh, nine blocks right there. I'm just going to enter in the code and just, you know, see if it works. So here we go. All right, so I've got the installation ID entered in here. We're going to press submit and we're going to see if it works. There we go. We got a confirmation ID. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in here and uh, we'll we'll see if this works. This is actually much easier than going through like the, uh, you know, computer said the audio self-help system because you literally just kind of type it in on your phone rather than, you know, having to say it to them or enter it on your phone's keypad and wait for them to kind of, okay, next group, next group, please, you know. So I'm going to enter this in here. 
Okay, so I entered in three groups and it spit out this error message. So I'm just confirming here. One, five, two, four hundred, five, three, two, three, seven, five, six, three, three, oh, eight, three, one. That's why it's not a nine. All right, here's the moment of truth. We have the confirmation ID entered. We're going to press activate and uh, see if it works. Okay, so I see an exclamation point here. I assume that says oh, that's a good sign. Let me pull up Google Translate to verify here. And that does say thank you. Click continue to continue using Windows. At least that's a rough translation of what Google Translate says. So ladies and gentlemen, I just think we activated the uh, Russian copy of Windows XP here in the US. Yeah, that says right there, Windows has already been activated. That is awesome. Man. So there you have it, guys. That was actually way easier than I thought. I mean, obviously, having everything in Russian posed a little bit of a challenge, but definitely was still doable. So to answer the question that was asked by a lot of you guys, can you activate uh, a Russian copy of Windows XP here in the United States in 2020? The answer is absolutely yes. You can go through the phone activation process and uh, activate a version of Windows from 19 years ago here in uh, 2020. Um, pretty awesome stuff guys and yeah that is pretty much going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video I hope you all enjoyed this one if you did definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already uh, So that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video Which I do every single week on this channel and as always if you guys have any sort of comments or questions or concerns Be sure to leave those down below as those definitely do help and I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say and uh, as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.